What are you doing? And where are your pants? Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And no doubt you saw that we were on Cinecom.net's Copycat Friday. You know, I think it was Friday? Yeah, that seems right. And in that episode, Janik took you through the process of adding one of these Doctor Strange portals to a moving shot. And what I was planning on doing with this episode is showing you how to customize Zach from CG Visual's Doctor Strange portal to have more of a screen accurate opening. But lo and behold, he's beaten me to it. Zach from CG Visuals has actually launched a brand new version of the Doctor Strange portal called version 2.0, version 2.1, and just before I started taping, he brought out version 2.3. Now the exciting thing about this is, it takes the principles of what I was going to teach you and has already incorporated it into the portal animation. So what I thought we could do today is jump into After Effects, open up that project file, and I'll guide you through the process of how you actually animate this thing. Now we'll just say, just like with our last Doctor Strange portal effect, if you plan on customizing this thing in any way, shape, or form, you will need a copy of Trap Code Particular. If you don't have that, we still have all the downloads in the video up on the card. And if you want to incorporate it into a moving shot, you can click above right now and visit the Cinecom.net video as well. So enough jibber jabber, let's open up After Effects and get to work, shall we? Okay, so here we are in After Effects and I have Zach's brand new Strange Portal version 2 open. Once again, guys, I will reiterate, if you don't have Trap Code Particular, this ain't gonna work. So make sure you have that before you open this. So the new version has a couple of nice features that weren't present in the original version. So I thought I'd talk about them right now. The first one, and this is a big one, the portal now has what's called a ring opening and closing rate, which it didn't previously have. So you now have the ability to open and close the portal without having to modify the rig, which is what I ended up doing with my version of the portal and the one that I rendered out for Jordi and Janik over at Cinecom.net in our collaboration video. So if we hit U and drop down the animation keyframes, you can see that our ring opening and closing rate starts from zero right here at frame one, then it goes up to 300 a couple of seconds in, and likewise for the closing rate. We get over here near the end of the comp, we see some new keyframes, it turns back up to 300 and slowly runs back down to zero, which closes the portal. Now, in my original render, I stitched two versions of the portal together. I customized Zach's rig to open much like he has made right here in version 2, and then once the portal was the size I wanted, I animated in a second ring that would serve as an idle portal animation so it could just spin in the background. Now, lo and behold, Zach has updated the rig to do that now all in one comp, and it now has the controllers right here, which is insanely cool and saves me a bunch of work. So you can see the controller right here is called Whole Ring Emission Rate. Now basically the idea is that you use the ring opening to, duh, open the portal. And once you have enough scale in your portal, you introduce the whole ring rate to essentially introduce the idle version of the portal in its full ringy goodness. You know, the stereotypical ring portal thing. So you can see here in the keyframe animation that the ring is opening here. And if we jump down to the whole ring emission rate right here, this bad boy, over the course of roughly 24 frames, these two keyframes right here, the whole ring emission goes from zero to 150. And you now have this nice ring chock full of sparky goodness that looks like our stereotypical Doctor Strange portal. And just like with the opening, you can see the closing animation is much the same way. Once the portal starts to close down around here, there's a keyframe added, and then over the course of 24 frames once again, that reduces to zero, and we're back to working with just our closing rate. Now, this might all look and sound very complicated, and if you unhide everything that goes into this, <laughs> believe me when I say, it really is. Zach has put an insane amount of work into this to make it easy to use. And with this new update, it's even easier. So there's actually a couple more controls that I'll mention gang because they're also pretty cool. 
Ring Turbulence allows you to add a little bit more chaos to the portal. At the moment, it's set to 25, but if I, say, bang it all the way up to 200, it introduces a lot of randomness into it, especially good if you're comping the portal into, say, a windy environment, or you want to make the portal seem like it's struggling to stay open. For now, I'm just going to leave that at 25 because it looks pretty good to me. Wind speed is another great option. In the Doctor Strange movie, at one point they're on Everest and it's pretty dang windy. You know, kind of like me after a good curry. Zack has built in an improved wind system into the rig. So say the wind is blowing this way. We bang it up to say 100 and you can see that the fall off particles are now blowing to the right. Likewise, if we add a negative number like say negative 100, they will now head on over to the left. Nice, huh? Next up, motion blur samples. Now these in a nutshell just control how spread out the particles get. If I cut this to zero, you can see that really the particles are just little bitty bitty circles. But when we crank this up, they start to resemble the portal from the Marvel films. And that's just adding motion blur to these circles. The higher you crank this number, the more pronounced they're going to become. So have a play and see what balance works for you. Opacity boost, well, it does exactly that. If you increase this, your particles are gonna pop a lot more. See? Then the last thing, and it's a big thing guys, is the camera. You can move the camera in 3D space and place the portal in whatever perspective you like. You don't have to render it out and play with a 2D video. We're working with a 3D particle simulator, so let's take advantage of that. Just grab the unified camera tool and just change that perspective and have a bit of a play and match your shot as best you can. Once you're done moving that camera, all that information will auto update in the final comp. Now, speaking of the final comp, when you're done with all your animation in here, we could then head to the export comp where the final version of the effect is all ready to render. Now you can see that the glows and the color grading have been applied, so you don't have to worry about doing all of that. But since we're talking about an advanced version of this effect, you might want to just jump in and dive deep and tweak that for yourself. You can also do that by double clicking on the particles pre-comp here, opening that up, and at the top you're going to find the 32-bit color correction adjustment layer that contains all the layers of effects that Zach has piled in here, much like a tasty sandwich for your consumption. I highly encourage you to jump in here guys, have a play and just see what all these things do and make this thing your own. But for now, my friends, that is our advanced portal effect tour <clears throat> done. So guys, that was the new Doctor Strange portal from Zach at CG Visuals. I for one think this is a great update. The opening and closing animations work great and it makes this whole thing a lot easier. And I really look forward to making some really cool shots in the future. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. I do have another episode coming out later in the week, which I'm working really hard on, so keep an eye out for that. I just wanted to do a quick update just to incorporate Zach's new portal and how it actually works. But hey, if you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and it does help out. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button below. And if you are new here and you came from Cinecom, welcome. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single film in an episode. I've got two other episodes right over here, as well as all my social media crap. If you want to follow me on the Instagram and the Twitters and the whatnot, they're right there. If you want to help support the channel, I've got my Patreon link just there. Or you can hit that join button below and support us directly in YouTube. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning. Where are your pants?